Your name, sir, is Captain Beanie, am I right? Correct, uh, Judge Rinder, yes. Now, just to be clear, uh, you weren't born Captain Beanie. No. No, you changed your name by deed poll to Captain Beanie. Just to be clear, mm. um, I'm right to say, I see you've got a tattoo on your hand. Yes. For the avoidance of doubt, um, that is a tattoo of baked beans, am I right? Correct, yes. I see. Would you mind turning around so I could have a look at it? <laughs> well, I suppose it looks more to me like Paisley, but there you are. <laughs> But in your case, you did it for charity, am I right? I did indeed, yes. Now, it's important for the case, which I'll come on to in a moment. You do a lot of things with baked beans for mm. charity. Indeed, I You've have. done a good deal of that over the years. You tell me the top three things you've done for charity with baked beans. Uh, I spent a considerable amount of hours in a bath of beans for 100 hours. And, uh, How much did you raise for charity? Uh, we raised about uh, £1,500 uh, for a minibus appeal. And, uh... What's that in your hand? Well, I thought I had breakfast in bed, uh, as you can see. Oh, right, so you've got the beans, someone provided you the toast? Yeah, that's right, yeah. <laughs> what was the second? I pushed a tin of baked beans for a mile on my, with my nose, on my hands and knees. Well, why wouldn't you? Well... <laughs> <laughs> lastly, I think, uh, most recently, you've also uh, done something else with a baked bean, haven't you? Raised money? Well, conse well the consequences, as you can see on my head, um, we managed to raise um, £3,600 with having uh, people to uh, sponsor a bean and have the, the uh, initials endorsed on them. So each bean has a person's initials endorsed on your head? That's right, yeah. If you enjoyed that video, then I strongly suggest clicking here for more highlights. For those of you who haven't subscribed yet, and why not, so that you never miss out, subscribe, clicking down there. That's an order.